Hey there and welcome. My name is Carlos Berdis and let's start talking about what has been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being dressed responsible by anyone mentioned here unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliated in links so that they can benefit me without costing you anything extra and all the links, they will be in the description together with some timestamps so you can jump to the point of your preference. And this week, let's start talking about some bundles. The first one, as it was technically September when I was recording this, not when the video is going live, this is the Halloween in September. It has a bundle of 50 creators with more than 50 titles from romantic horrors, slashers, skeletons, comedies and whatnot that will get you into the Halloween mood. It will be up until the mid of October, so you have some time to check it out. I mean, you have at least some two weeks from the time that this video is going live, so you have plenty of time to check this opportunity and save 90% on acquiring the whole bundle and all these more than 50 titles. It is a very good bang for buck, I would say. Next one is also about Halloween, and it is the TTRPG Halloween Spooktacular 2022. This bundle has 11 titles from great creators like Monkey's Paw Games, Crispy Set, Alicia Furness, Cat Elm. I mean, I could actually list all of them because they are all really great and I admire all of them. But I prefer that you go there and check it by yourself and personally so that you can choose and like it's easier for you to acquire the bundle as well. And yeah, you can expect it to be a horror bundle since it is a spectacular bundle and you will not be disappointed. Also, by 16 bucks and 66 cents, it is more than 80% off when acquiring the bundles compared with acquiring each one of the titles. It is not just games, but also titles for other games like adventures and the like. Exploring some concepts like post-apocalyptic scenarios, classic horror house, the wicker man and all that jazz. It will be available up until November 1st so you have the whole October month to try and acquire it so go check it by yourself and if it strikes your fancy buy it as well. This week we had the release of Slug Blaster by Wilkie's Candy Lab. This game is about teenagehood, giant bugs, circuit bent Reagans and trying to be cool. In this small town, teenagers actually use hoverboards to skip to other dimensions, film tricks, cause chaos and everything else to create panic on their parents. And of course, it is the coolest thing ever, not just the game, but how they perceive it. Besides the game, you also have some freely available play sheets so that you can get even more the vibe of the game because if you did not also check the link and the art of it, it's it's amazing. It will then inform you in how is the game, what is the vibe of it, what you can expect from it. But it looks red, at least for me. So I definitely recommend you to give it a look and you have options like not just a digital copy one, but you can also have a physical copy. So check this one. Also this week, Molomoot or Modimoot released Weird Lil Goblins. This mini zini was made the traditional way actually and then scanned so that people can print their own version of their zini. The eightfold zini format guides you into creating a goblin, like you could expect from, from, from the title actually, not surprising, right? It has quirks, it has goblin names, uh, war machines, and even the boss of said goblin. It has it all for creating your goblin. And I loved how well put together it is. So also check this one because you have all the art and all, everything that comes together and it's really well thought out. Another one, this time we are talking about gems. And for October, we have the Troctoberfest. This gem proposes that you create adventures for Troika, one of my favorite systems, mind you. So. Explore this season of harvest to create an adventure for Troika or actually if you do not want to create anything for Troika you can just check the submissions as I always suggest so that you can find an adventure that strikes your fancy and since Troika is also OSR perhaps it's not something that you 
are looking for like playing Troika, but you can easily adapt to another one of your games. At least it sounds like a good plan for me. It's it is a good way to try and find titles with some common theme or common idea that you are looking for. On articles and threads, there is this interesting thread by Diana, a member from RPG Latam, the Latin American tabletop RPG scene. This article, or actually this thread, highlights some Latin tabletop RPG creators as it is Latin Heritage Month. There are some known creators, but I am sure that you will find some new ones that create amazing things. As a disclaimer, I was mentioned in it, but you can find much better creators on there as well. Uh, so do not uh, get your idea for, like, I was mentioned, so it's, it's not that high bar. And for this week, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the damn video, share, subscribe. If you know how internet works, you can play my, you can buy my games on itch.io. You can pay me a coffee on coffee. And let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, what you are disliking about it. I'm trying to follow all the comments and, co and respond to them. And I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya!